This is Sky with Politics NY. Schneps Media is asking each candidate running for New York City office in 2021 three questions in three minutes. And we're here with Troy Blackwell running for Council District 15 in the Bronx. Troy, we have three minutes to get to know you. So tell us a little bit about yourself and why you're running for that seat. Yeah, hi everyone. So I'm happy to be running for City Council District 15. I'm running because the district, much like the rest of New York City, is facing four major crises. We have COVID, we have a lack of educational resources, definitely a, a reckoning on race, and we also have a huge housing crisis. One out of every four students in this district is, is facing homelessness. Um, and something that's really important to me is that Growing up, education was my passport out of poverty. I grew up in this district. I'm someone who faced housing insecurity myself. Now my stepdad owns a small business here. So this is really home for me. This is my, my roots where I grew up. Um, and I feel like what makes me a little bit different in comparison to some of my colleagues is the experiences I've had. I've been in politics for a decade now. I've worked for President Obama on criminal justice reform. I've done communications work for now Vice President Harris. And so co-governance co is something that's really important to me. And I think with this new council facing any of these major crises, that co-governance experience is going to be really important. Wow, that's awesome. So what would you say is the number one community priority for Council District 15? The number one issue is going to be housing. Um, as I mentioned, one out of every four students is facing homelessness in the district. We are also ranked number two for the highest rate of homelessness in New York City. Um, you know, even when we look at some of the statistics, 38% of residents in the Bronx don't have home internet. So for me, it's really about looking at residents who are coming in and out of the shelter system, looking at the City Hubs voucher, raising that market value, and working also on permanent housing. There needs to be more funding for transitional beds. We need to look at what's happening with NYCHA. We also need to build on community land trusts, which are a pathway to the middle class for so many folks. So how can you take some of the national experience that you've had and apply it to this council district? Yeah, that's a really good question. Well, first, NYCHA, which is, um, it's federally mandated. So a lot of the work that goes on through NYCHA, it, it's really dependent on co-governance. So knowing people at the federal level is extremely important. The second is looking at some of my criminal justice work. I worked on criminal justice for President Obama. I've done it with a group called Color of Change, looking at over uh, 50 cities, looking at district attorneys and their stances on the issues. And particularly, here with the city council. The council has oversight over the NYPD budget. We also have oversight over Rikers Island, which we know a couple years from now is set to be closed down. So using that experience here in the, in the local level, um, it ties directly to it. All right, well, you heard it here first on Schneps Media's three questions in three minutes. This is Politics NY with Sky.